Unfortunately, Malia has been having troubles. She hasn't delivered in the amount of time that is normally expected for a Nigerian dwarf to give birth. Um, she, um, we, I looked. Um, I couldn't see a nose, and there's no hoofs. So we called the emergency vet because she's been at this for an extended period of time. So um, the vet said she's probably going to have to have a C-section. So I guess we'll see when we get there. Malia just got home. Um, it was a sad day and a happy day all at once. A sad day because Malia was unable to naturally give birth to her baby. Um, after trying hard for several hours, we ended up having to call the vet and take her to have an emergency C-section. Um, the baby died about 20 minutes later. So right now she's got dissolvable stitches, um, but she came through the surgery very well, and we're just going to keep her separated in the middle yard for a while so that she doesn't get knocked around by the others because um, she does have uh, stitches on her stomach running down the center. And you can just barely see, and the poor little thing, she's got so much milk but we're not even going to try to milk her because with the stitches and she needs to be able to recover so but she seems to be feeling pretty good huh hi I know she's doing miraculously well and we're sad to have lost her first and um, but her birth canal the, the birth canal was just too small and she had one kid which when they only have one it's usually a larger one and it happened to be male too which so made it larger so she just there was no way and, and she had struggled and we were just uh, afraid to let it go any longer we had actually um, in the end though we are just happy that Malia is okay and we will try to ensure it. Now they said that it is possible that if she did get pregnant again she could deliver um, but again we don't we're not so sure we want to take another chance with that um, and put her through that again so we'll just have to decide. Um, the emergency c-section was um, a $500 expenditure which again you know when you take on animals you take on a responsibility so it's just one of those things you deal with. Um, is it something that we'd want to do again if we didn't have to? No. So um, we're just happy to have Malia home. Well, when it rains, it pours. Last Wednesday, Malia had an emergency C section, and um, Monday, which was two days ago, um, or no, yeah, two days ago. Um, sorry, it's been a long night. Um, Burr somehow hurt his leg and is going to have to have surgery on Friday. Right, little bud. So right now he's heavily sedated. He's been in the same spot since uh, 7 this morning and it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, it turns out when they did the x-rays he, he was perfectly fine when he went out on duty and I saw him in the morning I was out in the garden for about two hours and he was being his normal self and I came in the house for about 30 minutes and then I was going to bring him in for during the day since he stays in the house and um, when I went out to get him he could not stand up he would put no pressure at all on his um, left leg and um, he just cried with pain and um, he took about one step and he collapsed down um, poor little guy he collapsed down and then he uh, just cried so um, I called my sister and we took him to the vet and again they did x-rays and it turned out that they said yeah his hip was displaced it was like dislocated 
they got it back in to position but it turns out we didn't know this he has a he has deformed hips and apparently he was born that way a lot of bigger dogs do get hip dysplasia but now he's just at two years old which is unusual for his age but apparently due to malnutrition and some other things um, before he was born and early on in his life um, his hips did not form properly so um, he is going to require surgery and on Friday they're going to fix his right hip or his left hip excuse me and we're going to hope that even though his left hip has the same deformity that by taking the pressure off of the the one hip um, he will be able to go for a long time without ever needing anything done with the other hip but we'll have to play that by ear I know you poor little drugged up puppy huh so um, he was in awful excruciating pain unfortunately um, the the cost of the surgery is going to be between a thousand and fifteen hundred for this particular leg. He is not going to get a total hip replacement. Um, luckily because of his age and his build that he, even though he is a very large dog, um, the vet said roughly 67 percent of his weight is in the front half of his body and he doesn't have a lot of weight in the back half of his body because he weighs just over a hundred pounds. Um, so anyway, we're going to pray that all goes well, and um, when it rains and pours on the homestead, it rains and it pours. So hopefully, um, after this is taken care of with Burr, we won't have <laughs> any more problems for a little while. Um, we still have buckets that's due to kid, so we're going to hope for normal birth, which he's delivered three times already, so this shouldn't be an issue, but you know how that goes. Anyway... I hope everybody's doing good and wish Burr well. And Berber had surgery. He is one sore little puppy. But the vet said he did excellent, so we're hoping that he'll have a good recovery. Oh, poor little thing, he's still loopy from the drugs. Got a loopy puppy. He's a loopy puppy. We did finally get him to eat. We went and bought him some brisket.